my dear learn to appreciate your spouse the little that he or she can do appreciate him or her nobody is perfect we are all work in progress there may be some brokenness in your spouse but learn to focus on what he or she can do better because you see the enemy is a thief the bible calls him the accuser of the brethren if you decide to meditate on your spouse's weaknesses then the enemy will take advantage of it and vilify your spouse in your mind so instead of you focusing on his weaknesses or her weaknesses, why don't you change? Why don't you turn? Why don't you repent and focus on your spouse's strength and applaud him, okay? And encourage him or her and tell her that, my dear, I appreciate what you have been doing in this house. I appreciate what you have been doing in, in, in my life. I appreciate you. I thank God for your life. You are the best wife. You are the best husband. The little that your spouse can do, appreciate him or her. The Bible said, don't despise small beginners. It, uh, it's rather unfortunate that sometimes we allow the enemy in, okay? We allow him in, into our marriages by focusing on our spouse's weaknesses. As, as I said, we all have some strength. We all have some weaknesses, okay? So what you focus on, you enlarge. What you focus on, you enlarge. So why don't you focus on your spouse's strength? and then applaud him and applaud her let him or her know that i appreciate you i thank god for your life i mean look at the food that you cook this evening i appreciate it my dear appreciation is very very important the bible says in all things we should give thanks god wants us to live a life of gratitude he doesn't want us to keep on complaining murmuring and grumbling about little little stuff he wants us to focus and if we show appreciation okay in your marriage, if appreciation or thanksgiving or gratitude is your hallmark in the marriage, it will reflect in your life. You will start flourishing. You will start growing. You will start um, looking beautiful and nicer all the time. Why? Because you are you are living a life of gratitude. You are living a life of thanksgiving. Because you are not somebody who is always nagging, complaining, and, and grumbling, focusing on what the person is not doing better. What about some of the things that he or she has been doing better? What, what 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 are you what are you doing about it okay have you just put that thing in the dustbin and then you are focusing on the person's weaknesses today um make sure that you appreciate your spouse you appreciate your husband you appreciate your wife and when you begin to do that god will shower his blessings upon your marriage you realize that there are so many things about your spouse that are good than those things that are bad there are so many things about him or her that are good. Maybe you are not focusing on it. Just sit down, maybe take a pen and a, a, a paper and start writing some of the things that you think are good about him or her. And you will see there are so many things about your spouse that are good. So today, show appreciation. Encourage him or her. Let him or her know that he or she is the best thing that has ever happened to you.